Hello and welcome to your MESE lesson. I'm Virginia. Today you're going to learn the what and the how of asking do questions with irregular verbs. Let's start with what. What are these questions used for? They can be used to ask about repeated actions or facts. For example, do you sleep? Good. Now let's learn how. How do you use these questions? First, know how to conjugate do in the present tense. Let's use the example sleep. If you want to ask about yourself, please repeat. Do I sleep? If you want to ask about me, do you sleep? If you want to ask about a man, for example, Zach, does Zach sleep? If you want to ask about a woman, for example, Karen, does Karen sleep? If you want to ask about you and me, do we sleep? If you want to ask about other people, do they sleep? It's very important to memorize this conjugation fluently before you start practicing video B. Next, you need to study your vocabulary to know a variety of verbs. For example, do you grow flowers? Learn hear that noise. Some verbs need to be followed by a noun to be a complete sentence. For example, do you see Adam? The verb see needs to be followed by a noun, for example, Adam, to be a complete thought. Keep in mind that native speakers ask questions in a friendly way. Your facial expression is very important. Watch me. For example, do you understand? Do you hang out? Do you sing? Let's try saying those three questions together. Please repeat after me. Do you understand? Great job! Remember to think about your facial expression. Let's do another. Please repeat after me. Do you hang out? Good! Remember to follow my intonation. Let's do one more. Please repeat after me. Do you sing? Excellent! We'll practice these examples and more in video B. Now let's review. First, what are do questions used for? They can be used to ask about repeated actions or facts. Second, how do you use these questions? You use them by knowing the conjugation of do and building a more specific question with the vocabulary. Well done! Let's move on to video B to really practice making your own questions. Remember to keep on reviewing your vocabulary. I'm Virginia. See you next time.